Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. Question 1. Where the circuit breaker handles are operated vertically, the up position of the handle shall be the A. On position, B. Off position, C. Tripped position, D. Any position. So we have to look in the index for this. Now it's asking a question about circuit breakers. Now we could look under circuit breakers, but there is a section in the code book on overcurrent protection, which does include circuit breakers, and that is Article 240. So we're going to find that in the index. Now this is a point I would like to make to you. Looking for keywords is not an exact science. And also with your experience in the field and you should have some experience looking through the code book and part of this lesson is to teach you some aspects of the code book so as you go through this course you'll get more familiar with it but spend some extra time learning some of the sections of the code book and it will help you look up the information you need so we're going to be looking in overcurrent protection here we are in the index section of our code book and at overcurrent protection and it's article 240 so if we look down here we just drop down a little bit we can see circuit breakers and it says 240 dash and there's a Roman numeral 7 now part of the way the code book is broken up mainly you have articles where it talks about overcurrent protection is a very main article and now let's look under here. See, it talks about air conditioning and it gives a number 440 dash and then Roman numeral 3, but then amusement attractions 522.23. Now there's different names for all of these, whether it's Roman numerals or numbers, and then sometimes later you see letters. We're not going to get too involved in the names of all of these sections and subsections and categories because that can be a little confusing and I get those mixed up in my head all the time. The main thing is the article and then underneath I'll probably be calling it a section as we go through it but I'll always be very clear about it and we'll refer to it and the main thing here is to find the right answer to our question so we have the article now down here we look circuit breakers so it's 240 and then we're looking for Roman numeral 7 we could look for other things here as well in overcurrent protection because we have the circuit breakers and it could be asking for things like labeling or th things like that that could deal with our question so let's just scan down a little if we were to drop down the index page a little bit okay we're finding we're not really seeing anything that applies to what we're looking for here now this continues at the next column so let's go up there and take a look at the next column okay so we're at the top of the next column looking in overcurrent protection and again we're not really seeing anything applying to our circuit breaker as we look through here now I'm not going to go through this on every question but I'm going to take you through it here at the beginning because we're kind of learning to navigate the code book now you should have the code book in your hands and I'll ask you to check something and you should check it carefully and then we'll, I'll give you enough time to do that as we proceed but here we are going through this and again with overcurrent protection and it continues down on the next page of the code book so let's go down and check that out okay so here we are at the top of the very next page and we're down here again it's talking about uh, overcurrent protection for again sensitive electronic equipment solar voltaic systems storage batteries again this is all dealing with protection of it and let's just check down a little farther here as we go down this and finally we get to the next section okay it says overhead gantry and overhead spans overload so that's the best that we could find in overcurrent protection was that Roman numeral 7 so let's go and look at that now article 240 Roman numeral 7 
So here we are. We're in, here we can see we're in Article 240, and it's Roman numeral 7. So it's talking about circuit breakers. Now remember, Article 240 talked about overcurrent protection, and that can also happen with fuses. So here we are with the section on circuit breakers. It talks about method of operation, indicating, and non-tamperable, and it goes down. Here's the thing. Sometimes you've got to do some detective work when you're looking through here. And a good way is you look at the dark heading of the section. You can read it and sometimes read the first sentence or two. And then you, you go through to find what you're looking for if it doesn't exactly indicate. So you can take a quick scan. Well, here we are indicating, okay, circuit breakers shall clearly indicate whether they are in the open, off, or closed on position. Whether circuit breaker handles are operated vertically rather than rotationally or horizontally, the up position of the handle shall be the on position. So this is our question. And so it's telling us that when you have a circuit breaker and it's operated vertically rather than horizontally, in other words, you trip it by going up and down, the up position shall be on. And the reason for that, it's real easy for something to fall and hit that handle and knock it down. So if it goes from off to on, it's going to energize something and somebody could be hurt. But it, if it goes from on to off, the chances of somebody being hurt by the energy is even, tr it's tremendously less. So this is what we have and we went through with overcurrent protection. Now, let's suppose, now we do have the answer here. But let's suppose that we had gone in our index and we had looked up uh, circuit breakers instead of overcurrent protection. Let's see what would have happened there. Because sometimes when you're looking in the code, there's more than one way to get the answer. And sometimes you end up on a wild goose chase. We need to learn when these times are. So let's take a look at this and see what we learned from this example. So here we are back in the index of the code looking under circuit breakers and again it tells us article 240. So that means it's listed under the overcurrent, protect, uh, overcurrent protection part of the book. So we can look in here and again it had, goes down alphabetically. Now we found it under indicating was the heading when we looked in article 240 under section Roman numeral 7. So Indicating, now another thing when you're looking up uh, and trying to find your answer, you look for synonyms. or So indicating, labeling, marking, identification. So let's go up to the next column over and, because it continues at the top of that column and let's see what we can find. So we're continuing and here we are at the column and notice indicating it says 404.7. Okay, and then we can go down and we're past where it could be labeling or marking because we're past the L and M. So let's look in the code at 404.7 and let's see what information we could find there. Now we already have our answer, but what we're doing is finding out if we had gone this way and looked at circuit breakers, what would have happened? Okay, so we're at 404.7. Now we see Article 404, it says switches. Now you can read this if you have your own uh, code book open, which you should. Just off here it says Article 404, which is here. But I have to uh, zoom in a bit to get the screen capture on this. Okay, now it says indicating. Now that's where we found the answer when we looked in uh, 240.81. And if you read it, it's almost word for word. And here it is, where these switch or circuit breaker handles are operated vertically rather than rotationally or horizontally, the up position of the handle shall be the on position. And that was one of our uh, answer choices, was that it had to be in the on position. Now let's look here. One thing we're going to learn about the code right now, see this exception number one and exception number two? Sometimes you find the answer there and you have to really read your question because something may not be allowed but the exception gives a situation where it is. Now that could be in your question or maybe the question is worded such a, 
such a way where the exception makes it false. So when you have these, you're going to have to take a quick look at those and read them. Now, in your code book, go ahead and do that, but they don't apply to our situation. So we have found two places in the code book where we can find the same answer. This time we would not have been taken on a wild goose chase, but sometimes you will. And I'm going to show you some situations where that happens, and then we're going to find some ways to see how we can avoid that. In other words, we're going to see, let's see early if we're, if we're going down the wrong path, and then quickly go back and get ourselves on the right path to find our answer. So the answer to our question is A in the on position. Thank you for watching this video. Please click on the like and subscribe buttons so that I can continue to make more videos like this. If you find this video helpful, please consider donating using the PayPal link below. Thank you.